my people are always salute to <laughs> happy new week obedience how na day <laughs> things they happen no una see this school where happen for Nijay so no be small lo una no say bala me to no na be ECOWAS chairman he invite 15 leaders ECOWAS leaders go abuja over the weekend said and say na to move into action now they want send troops they want send the military to Niger Republic say they want carry Bege go meet them meanwhile hmm. Uh, some African leaders don't come, come out now. They say, you are not representing us. African leaders blast ECOWAS over coup in Niger. Salute military action. My people. Meanwhile, this same, in short, uh, make I just drop this video for now. Plenty of the day. That same, the new president of Niger, now that military man, you don't come, I don't come when I show what Jubal Ahmed Tunumbu and ECOWAS. I go, they bring the gist for now. More than I just watch this one. So now, as they drop, let me share this video. <laughs> Put your house in order, you know, one year what. Now, another person. Before setting up a unit or anti coup d'etat unit in ECOWAS, isn't it time? that the African head of state or the ECOWAS head of state look into the reason why there are coup d'etat. What are the root causes of coup d'etat? Let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti-coup d'etat unit. Let them put their house in order and I believe their house is not in order. This unit is set up to defend them and to protect them only, nobody else. What is more coup d'etat than your national constitution gives you two term limit, five years, two terms. After serving 10 years, you want to change the constitution for another term. Is that not a coup d'etat? Because you feel you have the powers to do that. The soldiers have the powers to coup d'etat. That is also an order coup d'etat. And they are living with them there. They are there. In the name of civilian, putting on multi clothes, calling yourself a Democrat, when you loot all the resources of your country, mislead people, torture them, imprison them, burn their businesses to us, and you call that a Democrat? or a civilian rule and an illegally elected government. The leaders must stop lying to their electorate first. They must stop the corruption. They must stop looting our resources. They must understand that they are not a better citizen than anybody. They are given a responsibility, a role to play, to help develop the countries and make sure that there is peace and tranquility and respect the constitution of the country. But this is not happening. Example is this government. This government has lied to people in 2016 that they are going only for three years. Was that not a lie? Who asked them to tell people that we are going for three years? Were they forced to say that? They went around the whole country, lied to everyone. When the people started reminding them, this is what you promised us, they threw tear gas on them. And the president is bragging, yes, when I threw tear gas on them, they never came back. Does, not, does, does that not anger us? The citizens, you throw tear gas on your people. Some of them are wounded and you stand out there and bragging that I throw them a tear gas. They never come back. That alone can anger the citizens. You promise the people you will have a security sector reform. It's never happening. The civil service sector reform is never happening. The Jane Commission, Jane Commission was violated before the end of the Commission. When you take all the assets of the former president, and now you are busy buying assets, your days are coming.
I thought they should have learned. Or they could have learned from this. Unfortunately, they are not learning. So before you create a unit to go against any atom of coup d'etat, put your house in order, stop lying to your electorate, stop lying to your citizens, stop looting the resources of your country, stop corruption in your country. And then you can talk about anti-coup d'etat. Anti When Alpha Conde was killing his people in Guinea, after serving 10 years, he said it was not enough. I want to serve another term. During the process, so many Guineans were killed. And I did not see how any echo was going there or condemning him. You know why? Because Guinea was too big for them, or Alpha was dancing to their tune. Because I think that was why the Sumon Gambia was surrounded all sides by soldiers and guns in 2016. Because Gambia was small, or Gambia is a small country, and Jamme was not dancing to their tune. After the presidential election in Guinea, more than 300 Guineans were butchered, killed. No echo has condemned him. No African Union condemned him. Instead, they pick up their phones and say, Musele President, felicitas you. Congratulations. <laughs> that is the fair game that is happening in Africa. They can condemn Mali. They can condemn Guinea. They are soldiers. But the one in Chad, who has been given a red carpet for the African Union, was never condemned, and he's a soldier too. He's a soldier. They can give him a red carpet for the African Union. But the other soldiers are condemned for their attempt, or for their, for their act. Where is the fairness in ECOWAS, or in the African Union? They are not representing us. I believe they are representing themselves. So we are calling them to remember that power belongs to the people. Alassane Ouattara knows how he came into power with Babo. He knows. But he finished his 10-year term. He changed the constitution for another term. They are there with him. Nobody condemns him. They are not there to condemn him because he's dancing to their tune. So I'm calling on ECOWAS to do the right thing. We young Africans, we are here watching.